Hey everyone, we're going to find the radius of convergence of the power series given here. So um, this is uh, the ratio test that we're going to use given here. And this is on my Facebook page if you want to uh, save a photo of it. I'm going to write it out for you because it's so small there on the video. So the limit as n approaches infinity and we're going to take the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n. Now if uh, the limit is less than 1 it's convergent and if it's greater than 1 it's divergent. So we're going to set it equal to that to find the uh, radius of convergence. So this is going to equal the limit as we use substitution as n approaches infinity. Now for a sub n plus 1 Everywhere there's an n, put n plus 1. The x needs the absolute value, so we're going to write absolute value of 4x minus 5. Now when you add 1 to this, this is 2 times n plus 1 plus 1. So that's going to be uh, 2n plus 3. And then for this piece, this is going to be n plus 1 to the power of 3 halves. Now we're dividing by a sub n, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So that's going to be times n to the power of 3 halves divided by 4x minus 5 to the power of 2n plus 1. Alright, now we have to simplify this. So let's look and see what we have for this piece. So for this piece, we have an uh, absolute value of 4x minus 5 to the power of 2n plus 3. And since this is in the denominator, you subtract the exponents. They're the same, minus 2n plus 1. Now, what's going to happen is the 2n's cancel and you're going to get absolute value of 4x minus 5 squared. So that, let's pull that out and write this as 4x minus 5 squared. We can uh, take away the absolute value signs because it's squared. We only need to take the limit of n. So now we're going to write our limit as n approaches infinity. And our n is going to be n divided by n plus 1 to the power of 3 halves. Well, this just equals 1. So this whole thing equals 1. So you're going to get um, 4x minus 5 squared. Now this converges if this is less than 1. This is condition 1 here for our ratio test. So basically what you're going to do is um, divide each piece um, this is um, equivalent to for absolute value, let's do that, absolute value of 4x minus 5 is less than 1. Now we need our x to be uh, 1 to be the coefficient here, so we're going to divide each of these pieces by 4. So this is going to give us x minus 5 fourths, absolute value, is less than one-fourth. Now, for it to be condition two here, it has to be greater than one. So that would mean we'd have uh, x minus five-fourths is greater than one-fourth. This is convergent, so I'm going to put converges. And this one is divergent, so I'm going to put diverges. Therefore, your radius of convergence is r equals 1 fourth. Sorry, I'm all over the place, but I didn't want to go to a different slide because I want to be able to see everything. So basically, this is what you're looking at when uh, you're looking for the radius of convergence. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <music>